Hi everyone! Welcome to Granny's Sewing Room. Thanks for stopping by. As you can see, my table is a mess and I've been busy. So let me show you what I've been doing and tell you what I'm going to do. But before I get started, I want to give you an update on my chickens. I told you my chickens were going to probably have to go to chicken heaven, but uh, my son told me about a Facebook group local that uh, is called Chicken Talk or something like that. And I posted my chickens on there and my chickens have gone to a good home where they get to free range and they even gave them eggs the next day. So they send me pictures of them and uh, they're keeping me posted about my girls. So, you know, I had to get rid of them just because I'm gonna be 67 in a month. And I fell down my back stairs a couple times going out to feed them chickens or water them throughout the day. and those stairs are treacherous and uh, thank goodness I didn't break anything but I don't want to take a chance of breaking anything because at 67 we don't heal as fast and uh, I, I just don't want to take a chance of breaking any bones or any hips or anything so we get a little older and we have to slow down and we have to know our limits and I think I, my chickens were were at the end of their peak. I did it for five years. You know, it was something on my bucket list. I always wanted to be a farm gal. And uh, I always wanted to be a, on a farm and be a farm wife. And uh, so it's off my bucket list. I have raised a, a hog. I raised one hog for years ago, but uh, I did get a hog raised. So that was off my bucket list. And it was in our freezer for winter. Uh, I've raised meat birds, so we've had plenty of chickens in our freezer. I've done chickens for the eggs, so I've done that. I like to garden and I can, so I've done that. So I think I have the best of both worlds. I get to be the little farm gal that I always wanted to be, and then I get to live in a, you know, when, quit when I went to and live in a place where I can go to the grocery store and buy my food too. So that's off my bucket list. Granny's done with uh, raising chickens. My husband claims he wants to when he retires, which he's supposed to retire the first of the year, he says now. And, uh, but we'll see. I don't think he's as motivated as to uh, do that. He started cutting wood and we used to burn wood and I used to haul that in until my shoulders couldn't take that anymore. So I don't know, we'll see if he really raises chickens, but if he does, it's his job. I'm not going to get involved in it. Uh, so besides that, I'm happy with my chickens. They're in a good home. And uh, what else is new? My Juki uh, 1181N. You know, I've had it for a year and I've had problems sewing on that. I could not control the stitching. I could, it would just jump out of the gate when I pressed the presser foot. Sometimes it would press easy. Sometimes it would be hard. I just couldn't get control of it and I just thought it was my error because I didn't know how to sew on an industrial and so I dealt with that I fought with that I struggled with that I had a love-hate relationship with that machine I love to make bags and stuff but it was not easy I had tension issues all the time nesting it was a headache but uh, I love the fastness and the smoothness when it did so right but then now I went and bought me an 8700 to do my quilting and piecing. And that's upstairs so I can spend time with Bingo. I'll cut everything out up there, up down here, and take it up there and just sew and look out my window and where Bingo lays. And so, but once I got that machine and seeing the control I had, and I knew, I thought, okay, there's different motors here. I thought I got a ser servo motor. And I did with both, but I guess one's brush and one's brushless. The brushless has more control over your stitching. So I started investigating. I started emailing the guy I bought it from. Uh, he said, slow it down. I slowed the stitches down and still no control. So I finally found yesterday a link to a guy that says the belt is too tight. You loosen that belt up and you will have... The, that jump stitching or that jump start will completely stop and it has I mean I have just a little bit of a jump out of the gate but nothing I can't control my tension issues have all day yesterday I have no tension issues no thread uh, thread shredding no nesting 
all over the belt being too tight. So I can't wait to get started on it today to see. I wanted to get up last night about midnight just to come down here and see if it still was working good. But I said, no, you'll do it tomorrow. I stayed in bed. I was a good girl. But um, I'm, I'm anxious to get on it to see if it's sewing good. I mean, just working with a machine that has tension issues all the time, breaking thread, shredding thread, that just drives you nuts. So anyway, so I'm going to get on that and see if it's really fixed. And all day yesterday it was fixed. I sewed all of these. I cut them out. And I'm making these are pouch wallets. So I sewed all these and the top stitching on these are just spot on because I had control with my stitching. I could go fast, slow, go around corners without it getting out of control on me. So I am excited, but I am working on these. Then I made these, and I don't know if I showed you, these are wallets, these are the Maryland wallets. Everything I've made or going to make or I'm talking about, I'll put it in the description below with the link if you would be interested in any of these patterns. So this is the Maryland wallet. You open it up and it has uh, 10 card slots, two pockets for money or receipts. Uh, your ID pouch is right here. Let's see if I can get in it. You can put a pin in the middle of it so you have a writing pin. Up on top, you can open it up and have a coin purse. Uh, it does have a twist lock or you can have a magnetic uh, closure. But uh, I made two of these. And then you've seen the video I put up with uh, my backpack, my silent movie, just letting you see how. And I was struggling with my machine then. It was not working good. But uh, I was struggling. And I, I like to watch people sew. But I don't want to stay there two, three hours watching them. So I speeded it up. And I enjoy watching people clean their rooms up with a fast speed. So I hope it didn't drive you nuts too much. <laughs> but uh, I kind of let you see me how I made my backpack again. And I'll put a link to the original tutorial I did up here. This was a copycat video. And it's a free pattern. And once again, I'll put it, a link in the description below. But my niece is in the University of Nebraska, and uh, she's studying forensic science. So I made this for her for Christmas. Wish I could fill it full of money for her. I'm sure that would help her. But I hope she likes that, and I'm sure she will. And what else? You already seen that I made this, I'm sure. I put this up on Marketplace to see if I could sell it, and I did sell it. I sold it for $65, so woohoo! They're picking it up Wednesday. And uh, I used to sell everything I made. I used to embroidery and do custom t-shirts for kids or adults, but mainly birthday t-shirts. And uh, so I had quite a little business. I have a Facebook page where I used to sell on. and I had over a thousand people join it. and uh, But I got so burned out. I just, you know, so if I make something and I put it on to sell it, that's how I want to do it. I don't want no more customized orders. I don't want to do none of that because... It's not de easy dealing with people. I mean, for the most part, I had wonderful customers, but um, it's still just not easy. You have to run to get all the personalized stuff, the colors, or whatever they want. And uh, this way, you just make it. You want it? Buy what you see. Kind of like when you go in Walmart. When you see it, buy it. But and sometimes they wanted those Walmart prices, and you just can't do that for custom-made and homemade. So... I might sell a few of these. I'm not certain. I was thinking about um, opening or starting a web page, but they cost money every month, and I don't have enough inventory, and I don't want to be under pressure to have enough inventory. I want to sew when I want to sew. And if I make enough or enjoy making what I'm making, like I'm making all three of these at one time. I have no use for them, so I might try to sell them. I don't know, but <laughs> but I want to sew, and I don't have uh, reasons to sew, and they don't need to sit around my house, so maybe they will bring a little cash so I can buy some more vinyl or more hardware or more something. But uh, let me show you the quilt I got off my long arm. So I got these this going and these, these made. I will show a close-up of my... I took this off my long arm this week and look at look at look at the design. I'm showing you the back of it because that's where you see it the best. 
But uh, I started out with doing baseball because he did, he played baseball this, but that was just too tight. That would have taken me 12 hours to get this all quilted out. And I don't know how many bobbins later because, oh my goodness, one row pass had to take two bobbins. So, and it's doggies. He likes dogs. So this is his quilt. I'm hoping to get this uh, binded and the label on it. I have to embroidery the label because I embroidery their label and uh, help to get that done mm, by Sunday, Monday, somewhere like that. Uh, and then I'm hoping to get my granddaughter's uh, quilt on the long arm and get that going, maybe by Thanksgiving. So I can do that as Thanksgiving. It's just gonna be me and my husband for Thanksgiving. Tomorrow I'm gonna go do some Thanksgiving shopping and get a few things. We've already had pumpkin pies last week. So he wants cherry pies. So Wednesday night, I'm going to have a glass of wine and make my pie crust and make pies and get all that ready. And then Wednesday or Thursday, just put my turkey in and come down here and sew. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> so if anybody stops by for a piece of pie, they get cherry pie. But usually my kids are out doing their own thing. And so anyway, uh, what else is new? I am wearing a hoodie hug dress. This is from Stephanie Farrell Focus, and you can get it on Etsy for $5. It has a hood, it has pockets, it's comfy, and uh, as you can see, I curled my hair a little bit. You know, I've taken my sister to get her hair cut, and I don't want to cut my hair. I like short hair, but long hair, short hair, it's all work. And with long hair, which I love the most, I can just kind of put it up when I don't want to do anything with it and be done with it. Be down here sewing. I want the bangs a little longer so I can keep them tucked behind my ears when I'm sewing. But right now I have to hold them up like that. <laughs> so because it's always falling in my face. So I don't want to cut my hair. I know I look older with my hair long, but I don't care. It's what I like. So I'm going to do what I like. So. Anyway, what else am I planning on sewing? I have no plans. Just get that other quilt done. My granddaughter came over and she likes my jacket. Let me go grab my jacket. Hang on. Let me grab it. She liked this jacket and this is the one I love the most too. And uh, she said, oh, Granny, come on, Granny. And I thought, no, no, no. Then I sat here and I hardly go anywhere. I don't have chickens to wear it outside anymore. And I thought, do you love this jacket or do you love your granddaughter? So my granddaughter wins. I told her to come and get it. She can have it. Granny can make another one. So maybe I'm going to stop at uh, Joanne's tomorrow. There was some flannel I liked there and take a look at it. It was a little more expensive, but I don't know. I'll look at it. But uh, she loves the colors on this, so I'm going to bring this one to my granddaughter. And she's got to come and get it. I really had a hard time giving that up, but I kept telling myself, what do you love most, this jacket or your granddaughter? I guess it's my granddaughter. So, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first, because you are in God's eyes. So I wanted to pop that in because I was thinking how special my granddaughter is to me. So I love them. They're all grown. I don't see them enough. They used to come over and spend the night with their granny. I was grandma then, not granny. I'm granny to the great grandkids. So, But anyway, we have a new chapter in our life. What, every 10 years? I mean, I'm just in a new chapter and I have all my sewing machines to keep me company. <laughs> when I'm lonely, I just sew. So people think, why do you have all this, you know? And well, I have nothing else to do, you know? This is all I have left to do in life. And when my grandkids come see me or my kids, my boys never come see me. So here I go on a pity party and that must be the holidays that bring that on. So, <laughs> and I keep saying so, but I shall let you go. Uh, I just wanted to stop in, say hi, tell y'all happy Thanksgiving if I'm not on next week. I'm going to be pretty busy uh, running and getting my shopping done, taking my sister to get her hair cut and making pies. So I probably won't be on next week. So I do want to tell you all happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get a house full of family and friends over to just make your day so blessed. So 
I think that's all. I'm looking around and trying to see if there's anything else I can talk about. Because I get to talking so fast and feel like you guys are going to get um, uninterested. So I try to get it all in as fast as I can so I don't keep you too long. You know how you talk on the phone and somebody's talking and talking and you kind of want to hang up. and <laughs> I don't want to make you guys feel like you're hanging on and you, you want to hang up. So I will let you go. You guys do me a favor. Give me that thumbs up. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell so you can be notified of my future videos. And I want to thank my new subscribers. Thank you all for joining in and giving me some time, uh, some of your time to watch me. So, bye everybody. Go out, do something creative, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord, and your blessings will always come back to you. God bless everyone. Bye.